Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these snap clips. I'm going to be using my Sizzix Big Shot machine today and the die that I'm using is from Felt Better, which is this one here, I'll just show you. So it's this one and it's got three sizes, which is seven and a half centimetres, six and a half centimetres and five and a half centimetres and you need 70 um millimeter or seven centimeter clips on the big one you need 60 millimeters or six centimeter clips on the medium and 45 or 4.5 centimeter clips on your small i'll put all the information in the description below and just so you know you can get these dies in the um from felt better on pre-orders and from monkey bear craft supplies in the us they don't currently have this plain edge version but they have a scallop style and a few other options so like i said do have a look i'll put the links in the description below and i've also done a couple more in the 60 because i have um loads and loads well six and a half um with the 60 uh, clips because like i said i have loads and loads of 60 clips but i haven't got any many other sizes at the moment i'm going to show you a couple of tricks to make the most of your fabric I always run a piece of card through first and cut myself out a set of templates. So what I can do with these now is I can take my fabric and with my scraps I can make sure that I'm using the exact, exact size that I need. So I can literally cut what I want and with my 60 I'll show you. So this is my six and a half and I'm going to make two clips. So this is the other trick I've learnt because I've been having a problem recently with my fabric slipping and I have learnt this trick with some masking, masking tape that doesn't hurt your dye or damage your dye but keeps everything in place and stops it moving and potentially you losing bits of fabric because it kept on moving to one side or the other and like I said I was just wasting bits especially on your smaller dyes. I'm just going to cut my two pieces. Okay, so I've got two pieces here. I like to place them um, glitter size up. So just make sure that that fits where it's meant to. Place on there. Place the second piece. Okay, I'm just going to double check everything's where it's meant to be. And then I've got this masking tape. Just standard, bog standard masking tape. You can get it for about a pound from like Wilco's, your crafting stores, places like that, Hobby Craft, Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to tape down each end. It doesn't affect anything at all. It just keeps it in place and stops it moving. And then I have my two plates and we sandwich those between our plates, pop that in our machine and I've never put more than two through. You can sometimes do three of very thin materials but I tend to stick to two on glitters and things like that. There you go, it's in exactly the place it's meant to be. It hasn't slipped or moved, so we've not lost any of our fabric at all. And all you do, you can take that off. And that off end. And then you've got two perfectly cut Snap clip pieces, perfect for when you, you just want two at a time, etc. Or you just want to use one size in rather, rather than all three. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could cut a piece of fabric and do three sizes at once and have you set like this one instead of obviously two at a time. But like I said, it's entirely up to you. So, okay. so there's not masses of waste on that. Like I said, you could cut them a little bit smaller and use a masking tape to hold it in place. But like I said, I just use a little bit just in case it slips just a tiny bit. And then we've got our clip cover. And obviously this is the fabric on both sides. So this is what it'll look like once it's clipped. So we're going to take our clip. And what I like to do is open it. 
line this side what I like to do is line the tip up there and make sure that none of this is showing so you can't see the back of the clip once you're happy with everything you can sort of snap it in place and sort of move it so it sits just where you want it so you want it like this you want it so that you've only got this back piece not anywhere else and the easiest thing that I have found to glue is pinch it back and then on this piece not anywhere here because we don't want it to seep into this so we can see it behind on the fabric a little bit of glue there and then hold that in place and make sure that that's firmly down because we don't want any glue to go here okay then you can pop it open we want a bit of glue here and a bit of glue there but don't go over the top you want enough to stick it down but not so much that it's seeping out the sides of your clip okay make sure it's still lined up and then I sort of press that against it while it's still curved and then we can snap that back obviously you'll get a little bit of glue around the edges again resist the urge to glue onto the, this bit of the clip stay at this top section only so I won't go past there on the glue on your actual clip and again you want a fair bit of glue to make sure your edges are going to seal nicely but you don't want so much that tons of it's going to seep out the edges Okay, and then line it all up, make sure it's all nice and even, and then I just take my fingers, if there's any glue, I'll show you how to clean it up in a minute, because you will get a little bit, but just press them together so you've got nicely sealed edges. There we go, got no, no glue seeped here, no glue seeped there. And then we can take our lighter. If you've got any glue coming out the edges, you can use your nails. And then you can go like this with your lighter. And any extra bits, like so. You can just take that and use it to tidy up those sides and there you go so that's what it looks like just pinch again make sure you've got no seals and then what i like to do is i like to pop it open like this and check both sides and make sure it's all nicely sealed if you've not put enough glue what happens is it pops open a little bit and it doesn't sit as nicely so that's what you get there you go nice easy snap clip for you and like i said they're so cute you can make them in all the colors you can do them in felt and do them all the colours in glitter and um, they look really pretty in suede and leatherettes and things like that so you've got so many options and like i said there's tons of other styles like scalloped and rectangles and things like that so i'll put all the links in the description below and thanks for watching bye